Hey guys, welcome to this video. And today I'm going to talk about if the hair follicles are still active in late 30s. And I want to share my experience uh, about different uh, things that happened to me last year regarding setbacks in my hair loss treatment and also recovery time when I solve those problems. And I want to also talk about uh, my experience of dealing with the hair loss in my early 30s and now in my late 30s. What is the difference and also in terms of recovery time, in terms of hair situation uh, and a couple other things. And if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome to the channel. Remember to subscribe so you get notification about latest contents that I upload. And if you are a newer subscriber, welcome back. My name is Alex and I'm previously hair loss sufferer who was actually able to regrow back my own hair. And I'm also a certified trichologist. So let's dive into today's uh, topic about is it a difference in terms of reactivating the follicles uh, in late 30s compared to when one is younger, such as early 30s. And from my experience, recovery time is about the same if you are able to address the underlying problems and you have a strong hair growth cycle and you have a low DHT sensitivity. And I want to basically use myself as example for it. So basically what happened last year is that I had a several setbacks in my treatment because I did some mistakes that led to that I had a kind of thinning on steady thinning over summer months last year from around May 2023 to around September 2023. And if you check my videos during that time frame, you can see that I had, a, for example, a loose density, my temples become weaker, thinner, lighter in color, and there was a clear sign that I was losing ground again. And what happened is that I found out what was the problem and I solved the problem and I was able to recover my hair once again. So basically six months later, you can see that I have full recovery of my hair. And I would say I still have more potential of recovery even more if I continue to approach it correctly and avoid any setback. Because setbacks, what I have noticed is that uh, like reactiv reactivating the follicles itself is about the same in terms of time frame for me compared to when I was younger in my early 30s compared to late 30s. But what is the difference is that my follicles has become weaker in a terms of, for example, underlying problems, right? So for example, if I do something that causes more DHT sensitivity, my hair follicles will more easily react to it. If I do something that affects my hair growth cycle, again, my follicles are more easily reacting to it compared to uh, when I had a hair loss back in my early 30s. So uh, that's kind of difference. But in terms of recovery time, recovery time is the same, right? Around six months. And if you, for example, watch my videos from uh, October, November, December, and January, and also February, you can see that I have studied uh, basically my density getting better each month that uh, goes by. So from, compared to uh, what it was back in September last year. And uh, when it comes to the treatment itself, like I haven't changed anything in my treatment itself, like in terms of minoxidil, finasteride, microneedling, uh, those components are the same. I have kept them in the same strength, all right, and the same amount, but the difference is that they actually have been working much more on my lifestyle, much more of factors that can cause DHT sensitivity, that can affect my hero cycle, uh, also factors regarding my lifestyle, regarding my stress management. Like those, I find is very important, especially if you are in your late 30s, right? And I, in a couple of more months, I will be actually 40, right? I mean, I'm 40, so it will be actually quite interesting what will um, basically happen in terms of my hair situation, but because it's often assumed that in the 30s, one uh, have more kind of harder time to reactivate the follicles. But again, from my experience, it, it is about addressing online problems and making sure that problems are not causing or spiking on causing issues for either for DC sensitivity, hair growth cycle, or for example, affects the scalp environment itself. Uh, because again, scalp environment is important because we don't want to have any fungal problems, any dermatitis there, or inflammatory problems because those things can affect and make hair follicles even weaker. Another thing that I have been working a lot of lately or last uh, six months is to work on my daily hair shed. Right? The daily hair shed is an indicator how well treatment is working. And basically from my experience is that if there is a high shed, like a unnecessary high shed, for example, what it will do is that it will just make the treatment less effective over time, or it shows that there is some weakness to the treatment, right? Is there is possibly some online variables that are still causing issue, right? It could be nutritional factors, it could be something in diet, trigger foods, possibly some gut issues, right? But those online factors um, basically leads the treatment is a bit less effective compared to if the shed was as low as possible. And lately, I have been counting my hair, and during the day, I have been able to see just 10, 
possibly 15 years, right? When I comb my hair, when I shower, when I, for example, apply minoxidil, in total, there is 10 to 15 years every single day, which means that my hair shed is very low compared to where it was before. When I, for example, did make a video about hair shedding, uh, like a year, one and a half year ago, uh, I spoke about that my daily hair shed was around 25 to 30 years a day, right? And I have actually been able to reduce that amount by addressing on, uh, on working on my lifestyle, my diet, um, basically uh, factors such as stress. I have been able to reduce that factor much lower compared to before. And it just shows that even if you are in your late 30s, you can still do things to improve the odds and makes the treatment much better and much more robust, right? It's about optimization, right? So basically my point, point here and conclusion is that hair follicles can be active also in late thirties, likely also in the thirties. If one is careful and addresses underlying problems and doesn't do anything that can affect or cause issues either with the hair growth cycle itself or increase DHT sensitivity, or for example, affect the scalp environment and cause some kind of dermatitis inflammatory problem on the scalp, which can weaken the follicles. So thanks for watching this video guys. And for you guys who are struggling with the hair loss, who need help and guidance regarding hair situation, uh, with a proven steps that works to recover the hair, you can schedule a call below this video. There's a link for it. Let's talk and see what is uh, holding you back, why you're not seeing results from the treatment and what you can do right now to actually improve your situation once and for all and see results from hair loss treatment. Thanks for watching this video guys and see you next one. Cheers.